mindset is a huge part of players' development, particularly in relation to getting them to transfer what they're doing on the training pitch to the, to a match day situation. Quite often, as coaches, we we tend to focus more on the tactical and technical and physical preparation of our players, when really mindset can can often be the dictating factor in games. Footballers, I want you to think about your game here, okay? I want you to think about your game. Think about your best performances and think about your worst performances. Footballers, whenever they play, play in one of two mindsets. One of two mindsets, okay? They play in a challenge state or they play in a threat state. I suppose sports psychology is something that I never really gave much thought to but it really opened my eyes to the importance of sports psychology and the effect it can have on games and, and um, individuals in, in general. Getting some advice and, and tips on, on how to prepare your players mentally was massively important today. I learned that overall the negativity it can affect the player more than his ability. It can make him a worse player. But positive, positivity can make them much better, especially confidence. I learned that I wasn't really um, implementing or using a lot of the words and phrases necessary to encourage young footballers to improve, to, to get them to play better, to think big about themselves, to be more confident within themselves. So it's something I'm going to go back to, to my local club and try and implement. Today it was very useful to, to be able to learn how to identify in certain players that they might need particular work on their own mindset and that if you can fix one or two players that, that can have a, a really big impact on the overall team performance as a group. Just the, the whole course, just, it, it gave me a different way of thinking. Just how I approach children and how I encourage them and how I can bring the best out of them. It's, it's just given me a totally different way of thinking about things. I think there's an awful lot of things about this workshop today that I'm going to bring that I know are going to be very, very practical and, and, and definitely make an impact um, on, on how players perform going forward. Give kids a little bit more ownership and maybe not be a dictating coach uh, and try and get more kids to get involved in the training sessions and then um, just try and be more confident, try and encourage confidence within the training sessions and encourage kids to be as good as they can be. Establish a pre-match routine. Two hours before you kick off, bang in front of you. Your match script. So that might be great body language, keywords. Picture it. Picture yourself play like that. You just get an impression on your mind of what the challenge state might look like for you. When I was playing, I left football recently due to a lack of confidence. So I hope that I can use this to stop other players doing what I did and leaving football because of this. I thought the content was um, explained very simply in simple terms that um, everyone can understand. And I suppose football is a game that's played all over the world. It's a simple game and uh, Dan made his information very simple and easy to understand. It was absolutely fantastic, yeah. Really, really, really fantastic. And there's lots of scenarios I can employ what I've learned here today. Are we focusing on the outcome or the performance or mastery? Players tend to play in a negative state if they're focused on the outcome. Win.